I'm Captain Blaine Anderson and we're out here on Eastern Long Island Sound today in some pretty nasty conditions. Um, it's blowing 15 to 20. As you can see here, we're fishing in a pretty good chop. But what we're going to do is I've got a shallow water point that comes off here with some strong tide running up and over it. And we're going to present some topwaters. The reason we're going with topwaters today is that with all this chop, uh, we're going with big stuff. Uh, we're going to try the, the uh, creek chub six pin and then I've got the good old cotton cordell pencil popper with some rattles in it and the theory behind the the big poppers today is that we've got to create enough commotion that these fish are going to be able to pick the, the top waters up uh, with all of this chop. We could do some bombers maybe a little bit later get down deeper uh, but generally conditions like this going into fall is prime time for top water here in Long Island Sound. So what we're doing here is there's a, there's a point that extends off the land here, very shallow. This green here is, represents uh, eelgrass. And we're fishing in, right now I'm in nine feet, but we're curling back around a little tighter to shore, fishing in around the boulders. I've got this one marked, because that's definitely one I want to stay away from. That'll, that'll do some damage. But it's just peppered with boulders here, and we're going up tide and drifting back through this, just presenting the poppers. And we've been finding that most of the fish are on the on the leading edge here because the tide's moving this way. Uh, so we've been doing really well out front here. So I just moved the boat up a couple of hundred yards and we're going to set up here and drift back and see what we can do right there. Oh, just missed one. Oh, there he is. We got him. Looked like a striper too. And I slowed it way down. Oh, he's off. Darn it. Come on. What I did was uh, we repositioned the boat. We got a little bit shallower. These bass, they like to take advantage of all this rough water. And with the southwest breeze pushing bait up towards the shore and it getting all rough in there, these bass seem to have been moving up shallow. And uh, instead of working it quick, I'm, I've just kind of slowed it down, a rhythmic little twitch, twitch. And he came back and blasted it twice. Unfortunately, he came unbuttoned, but it looked like a pretty good sized bass, probably uh, somewhere between 13 and 15 pounds anyways. And we're only in uh, seven feet of water in here. I'm casting into probably five feet. Might just, oh, there he is, as soon as it hit the water. There we go. I got a hook in him. That oh, big blue fish. Tail walking. That's a big blue. We may not get this one. He's got me in the rocks over there. I just try to put the wood to him. Get him out of there. There's only so much you can do with a big blue fish like this. He's ripping line. You'll see him. He should jump again. About 75 yards in back of the boat. He's right up on the surface. Oh boy, I don't want to tighten the drag too much here. Boy, did he come, <laughs> he absolutely blasted it. But same thing, we're, we're in shallow. I slowed way down, just a rhythmic twitch, getting that pencil popper dancing. I can't do anything with him, he has got me. Try tightening the drag just a hair here. Come on, fish. Get him turned, we'll be all right. I think he's coming now. Yep, we got him. <laughs> that was cool. Look at him go. That's why he's fighting so hard. He's got the back hook in his bottom jaw. And during that fight, the front hook turned around and got him 
underneath the gill plate. So he's got a lot more leverage than he normally would. But at the same time, we can keep him out of the rocks now. <laughs> what a blast. Fishing in conditions like this isn't easy, but it almost makes it more fun. Certainly rewarding. Nobody else out here. And we got them now. Wrong way. Come on. There we go. That's a good sized bluefish right there. <laughs> On a <the> top water? <laughs> Heck yeah, I do that any day. But, take a look at these teeth. That is one mean fish. And when they clamp down, they ain't letting go. I take my thumb right off. Nice fish. Oh. All right, he's going back. Let's do that again. 